Welcome to Electra Online. Here's another very big reason why life exists on the Earth. And if it wasn't for that, life would be virtually impossible. What is it? Greenhouse gases, the greenhouse effect. If our atmosphere only consisted of hydrogen and helium, whoa, 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 back. If our atmosphere only consisted of nitrogen and oxygen, temperatures would be much colder than they are today. How much colder? Well, the estimate is that without greenhouse gases, the temperature would be about minus 2 degrees Fahrenheit on average across the entire world, which is about minus 18 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine living in a world where the average temperature around the world was minus 18 degrees Celsius? That's 18 degrees Celsius below freezing. Wow! The Earth would simply be a big ball of snow and ice. Life would be virtually impossible. But because of the greenhouse effect, because we have greenhouse gas in the atmosphere, the average temperature of the world is about 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 15 degrees Celsius. That's again on average. Obviously, it's much warmer near the equator and much cooler near the Arctic regions. But on average, the world day and night would be about 15 degrees Celsius much more comfortable for life to exist. So what are these greenhouse gases? Well, the three main greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, and methane. And it turns out, again, water to the rescue. Water vapor in the atmosphere accounts for at least 90% of the greenhouse effect. The vast majority of this temperature difference, if you think about this, is about 33 degrees Celsius or about 6 degrees Fahrenheit. 90% of that, about 54 degrees of the 60 degrees Fahrenheit difference between having no greenhouse effect and having the greenhouse effect, is thanks to water vapor. Not only does water have these tremendous properties about expanding when it freezes and being most dense at 4 degrees Celsius, it also provides a tremendous blanket of warmth around the Earth, keeping temperatures much, much warmer than they would be if water vapor didn't exist. If we didn't have any carbon dioxide or any methane in the atmosphere, it's still the Earth would still be significantly warmer, 90% warmer, well, I should say not 90%, it's a bad way of looking at it, but think about it, if the difference is 60 degrees Fahrenheit, the difference would still be about 54 degrees Fahrenheit with just water vapor in the atmosphere. And in addition, having the carbon dioxide and the methane in the atmosphere, it provides some additional warming to the Earth, bringing it up to a difference of about 60 degrees Fahrenheit or about 30 deg 33 degrees Celsius between what it would be without the greenhouse gases and what it is today with the greenhouse gases. So, even though we have looked at methane and carbon dioxide as potentially being devastating to the world by making it too warm, well, there's some advantage to the warmth, and of course, without those gases, we'd be in really big trouble. The question is, how much more can we add of these two to make it not too warm, of course, that would be for a different video later. What I wanted to point out here is that, again, the water vapor is the main greenhouse gas, and without its special properties, because water vapor is able to absorb so many different frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum coming back from the Earth, the radiation that's re-rated into space, so much of it is stopped by water vapor that it makes the world in just a perfect place for life to exist. Without water vapor, even though we had carbon dioxide and, and methane, it would be bitterly, bitterly cold, and we probably wouldn't be able to survive on this world. Again, water comes to the rescue with its very special property, keeping the world perfectly warm. And that's why life can exist on this world. What if we were all polar bears? What if we're all polar bears? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, obviously, you have to have a chain of life for, water, for polar bears, bears to exist. So could life on Earth exist if the average temperature across the globe was at minus 18 degrees Celsius? That would mean that in the polar regions it would be much, much colder, and of course at the equator it wouldn't be quite as cold. If the entire world was like it is in the Arctic today, and that's kind of what it would be like, could polar bears exist? Could seals exist? Could fish exist? Well, I think at this point, when I look at 
life existing in the entire world. It exists because there are very warm places on the world, and so we have an entire ecosystem that exists because there are warm places on the world. If there were no warm place in the world, could life have started in the first place? Could life exist today? Again, it might be possible, but it's so much more likely at these comfortable temperatures as opposed to those frigid temperatures. So is it possible? Again, it could be, but much more unlikely.